For this module, we talk about piecewise function. So for piecewise function, we have different function for different intervals. So for example, uh, number one, uh, if you want to find h of negative one, first you need to locate where is negative one. So negative one is in this interval right here from negative one to two. So we're going to have to use this function that part of the function for h of negative 1. So we have negative, and we plug it in, negative 1 minus 1 squared plus 3. Which is negative 1. Now h of 1, we have to locate where is 1. So 1 is also in that interval. So we're going to have to use the same function, negative 1 minus 1 squared plus 3. So in this case, it's just 3. Now for h of 5, h of 5, so 5 is greater than 2, so h of 5 is simply 4. Same thing with graphing. So for graphing, you look at the interval, and then you graph. As you can see right here, we have constant, constant, and constant. So pretty much what we have is just straight line. Okay, now for, so we have, we have three, um, three different things we have to take care of. So you see the first one when x is negative, f of x is negative 2. So what that means is, so when x, when x is um, negative, which is this way, x, f of x is negative 2. So I'm going to locate negative 2 on the y-axis right here. And then notice that we have strictly less than 0. So it's going to be open. And then we have all the negative. All right. When x equals 0, f of, so f of 0 is just 2. So it's right here. It's just a single point. When x greater than 0, we have f of x equals to negative 1. So let's just locate negative 1 right here. And notice that we keep it open and we go positive. So that's the graph. Now moving on to example 3. So you can see that example 3, once again, we have linear equation. So we have two uh, two different intervals. We have x strictly less than negative 2 and x equals or greater than negative 2. So when, when x less than negative 2, we use that function. All right. So first, I'm going um, to try x equals negative 2 because that's where the change is. So when x equals to negative 2, let's plug it in. So negative 2, we plug it in here. So 3 times negative 2 plus 2, we have negative 4. So I'm going to locate negative 4 when x equals to negative 2, right here. OK. Now, so from here, when, uh, when, when we have x less than the negative 2, so from there, we have uh, x minus 2 for the function right here. Okay. You can try, you can try plot in some point. So how about I try x equals to negative 3. So when x equals to, to negative 3, f of negative 3 is going to be negative 5. So it's right here. 
and you see the slope is just one right so it's gonna be like this so we have the straight line like that now for the other part we have so I'm gonna plug in some point I'm gonna have um, x equals to negative 1 so f of negative 1 f of negative 1, we plug it in, negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1, so f of negative 1 is going to be negative 1 as well, so it's going to be right here. So as you can see, if you want to you, you want to use the slope, you see that we have 3 over 1, so you go 1, 2, 3 to the right 1, 1, 2, 3 to the right 1, 1, 2, 3 to the right 1, and then from there, you can draw your straight line and there we have it okay straightforward